take the paranoia of 1956's invasion of the body snatchers. Add the weirdness of the horror film Rubber, mix with the story of a newspaper man, and conclude with an ending reminiscent of 1953's War of the Worlds. And you have They Walked Like Men by Clifford D. Simic, 1962. I'm going to put the cover on the screen, and I want to appreciate Richard Power's art. If there ever was a book that screamed early 1960s SF, it's this one. The surreal artwork and the font for They Walked Like Men. Even the name itself screams 1950s science fiction movies. And look at that back cover. We'll talk a little bit about those aliens that are depicted. Money was worthless. It had no value. It couldn't buy a home, clothes, food. Someone with enormous quantities of cash was buying houses and tearing them down, buying stores and closing them. A few people could have stopped the transaction before it was too late. They could have said that Earth was being taken over by alien beings in the shapes of bowling balls, talking dogs, dolls that walked like men. In fact, they did say it. The trouble was, no one believed them. The setting is similar to many of the settings you would find in a Twilight Zone episode from the 1960s. This is urban America, and the story follows a protagonist who is a newspaper man. Parker Graves stumbles onto the story of a lifetime. He discovers that there's aliens among us, and they are trying to buy up all property on Earth. It is a silent, hidden invasion preying on our capitalism. What happens when people sell and there's nothing left to buy? They become homeless, rudderless, without resources. Our own sense of morals developed from capitalism become our Achilles heel. The horror of what's happening hits home to Parker Graves. On page 116, Wells had written long ago of aliens who had invaded Earth and many after him had written other imaginary versions of alien invasions. But not a one of them, I thought, not a single one, had come even close to what had really happened. Not one had foreseen how it could be done, how the very system which we had constructed so painfully through the ages should now be turned against us, how freedom and the right of property had turned out to be a trap we'd set for ourselves. The aliens themselves have the ability to change shapes. They appear in natural form as bowling balls, bowling balls of a certain plasticity. Now, for those who want to read this novel, I don't want to go too much further. I want you to enjoy this pulp noir 1950s science fiction movie type novel. This has a weirdness that is a little beyond what I normally expect from Clifford D. Simak. To me, it feels like he's taking some of the best of the 1950s science fiction movies and adapting them with his own particular twists. At times, it's slow, dwelling on quirky 1950s dialogue with the newspaper man and his girl and long descriptions of what is going on in this setting. It does paint a picture, although this picture in my mind appears in black and white. Let's take a look at some of the covers for the different editions of They Walked Like Men. This is the cover for the first edition. It is a hardcover from Doubleday Science Fiction. I think it's a marvelous representation of the novel. And if we look at the spine of it here, we can also see a portrait of Clifford D. Simic on the back. Just a reminder, this is from 1962. Space raiders determined to buy Earth roll relentlessly toward conquest. Delightfully weird and devilishly clever, this is cosmic noir at its finest. And here we can see a very stylized version of the bowling ball aliens approaching a house. The novel itself has a bit of an ambiguous ending. It asks if society is more important than capitalism. I give They Walked Like Men 7 out of 10. It's a novel of its time but asking some interesting questions. Have you read They Walked Like Men? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep reading.